Any health-related information on the following show provides general information only. Content presented on any show by any host or guest should not be substituted for a doctor's advice. Always consult your physician before beginning any new diet, exercise, or treatment program. Welcome to Accelerated Health Radio and TV. I'm your host, Sarah Banta. I'm a health coach, natural supplement expert, and a busy mom of three teenagers and now two dogs. But today, my guest is going to be talking about relationships, how to increase your frequency in relationships and get what you want. And I know you really need that strong physical foundation in order to work on your mental and spiritual growth, whether it's overcoming anxiety and depression, losing weight or detoxing the body in the proper way, increasing your sex hormones, and even increasing your level of frequency in life. You need that strong physical foundation of health in order to gain the willpower to make the bigger changes in life. Today, my guests will be talking about relationships and how they add or take away from our health. The reality is you don't have to lose your relationships with age. In fact, our guest will be telling you that his sex life is probably better than ever at the age of 70. And with the energy and anti-aging topic, it seems like there's two camps in society. One is trying to reverse their chronological age and their chronic metabolic diseases. And the other is trying to anti-age or increase longevity with different diets, modalities, and biohacks. And the irony is that aging is a condition associated with a higher risk of these metabolic diseases that most are trying to reverse. So in actuality, these two groups have the same ultimate goal, to reverse chronic disease, which will increase lifespan and slow down the aging process. But what if I told you you could take it a step further and reverse aging? By reversing the age or having your biological clock age backwards, while your chronological age ticks forward, then your risk of these metabolic diseases diminish, diminish. And not only will you live longer, but your quality of your life and even your sex life will improve with age. So what are the basic markers of aging? There are two, oxidative stress and inflammation. And that's why so many people look to antioxidants and anti-inflammatory supplements or diets to increase their longevity. But what are the two things that cause oxidative stress and inflammation? Insulin resistance and toxicity. And we're going to be talking a little bit about these and how they affect your relationships today. If you're new to following me, I specialize in helping you reverse chronic disease and ultimately reverse the aging process. You can find my health articles, my cutting edge natural supplements, devices, and protocols at acceleratedhealthproducts.com. I dive into an array of health conditions, their causes and symptoms, and how to address them naturally. And I have put together the most comprehensive cleanse called the Ascent Diet Cleanse that starts turning back the clock within 30 days. It comes with free group coaching and scalar frequency enhanced supplements that make the transition easy. And people report easy fat loss for those stubborn, stubborn pounds, increased physical and mental energy, better bowel movements, a decreased appetite and the ability to intermittent fast, clearer skin, wider eyes, better sleep, less moodiness, better testosterone and hormonal balance in general for men and women, and a deeper understanding of how you naturally can heal your body. The difference between me and any other group coaching is I provide the most cutting edge scalar enhanced uh, supplements that work synergistically with each other and your body doesn't experience those flu-like symptoms. You truly do feel great day one. If you're interested, leave a comment below or check it out on the website, acceleratedhealthproducts.com. Now to the good stuff. Dr. John Gray is the author of the most well-known and trusted relationship book of all time, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. 
USA Today listed his book as one of the top 10 most influential books ever. He has written over 20 books, and his most recent book is Beyond Mars and Venus, and I believe he's got some more books in his brain that are coming out too. His many books, blogs, and free online workshops are at marsvenus.com, and they provide a practical insight to improve relationships at all stages of life and love. He's an advocate of health and optimal brain function and also provides natural solutions for overcoming depression, anxiety, and stress to support increased energy, libido, hormonal balance, and better sleep. His approach to overall health is completely in line with what I promoted Accelerated Health Products in increasing your frequency. So if you've missed our other interviews, you can find them all on every single podcast platform, over 100 channels at Accelerated Health Radio and TV. Welcome, John. How are you today? Hi, Sarah. Nice to talk to you again. It's a pleasure. Nice to see you. And there's so many things we could go on. And I, I mentioned I wanted to talk about where we are in 2022. And what I mean by that is the modern day changes. Things have changed since men are from Mars, women are from Venus, for, since your first book. Um, we've got not just men and women. We've got gender fluidity. We've got a change in our diet and our toxicity. And like I mentioned in the beginning, um, you know, insulin resistance and toxicity really has changed our health and not only our health, our hormones. So I wanted to ask you, where do you think things have come? And it's gotten so complicated. I mean, even before we get into gender fluidity, just being a woman and, and trying to take notes from your books about how I'm supposed to be and not be with my spouse. Now you throw in, you know, multiple um, genders and men are more on their female side and women are more on their male side. And they're, we're dealing with all of these changes in our bodies physically that they truly are affecting all of our relationships. So what what has happened and where are we now with relationships, toxicity, hormones, and it all just seems very confusing. Uh, we're going the wrong direction, that's for sure. Uh, it's so interesting is when there's a, a crisis, we're in a crisis, there's a danger and there's an opportunity. That's, uh, that's uh, the definition or something, some old, old phrase. Uh, crisis, danger, and opportunity. We really, really are being taken over by uh, deception. Now that deception is going to wake us up. So this could be the great reset, or this is the great awakening. And the great awakening is that the direction we're going in only causes death, sickness, and divorce, the breakdown of the family, and hypersensitivity. Uh, we, we are dramatically going the wrong direction. And as far as health goes, we can say all of what I just said is people do not feel at ease. They don't feel comfortable. They don't feel in love. Uh, and that is a sign of elevated cortisol levels in the body. And, and eventually it becomes a cortisol burnout. Cortisol is very important. It allows us to react quickly to things, to run fast if we're in danger, to get an extra burst of energy, and then she relax again. Well, we are experiencing chronic stress. And if you are uh, don't know your biological gender identity, you're always in chronic stress. And you look at the unhappiness of people, the dissatisfaction of people, the emptiness of people, the addiction to fantasy. Uh, we're living in a world of addiction to fantasy. The biggest crisis coming forward is it's already, you know, Facebook has already done this with uh, uh, the massive amount of females, particularly who are addicted to Facebook. And that's fantasy. It's not reality. And the massive amount of males that are addicted to pornography and that's fantasy. And that putting in the context of health is going to cause insulin resistance. We'll get to that. So interesting. But more importantly, it raises your stress levels. It's not real. And what happens is when, uh, when you take cocaine, for example, you get a fantasy. 
life is fantastic. It's amazing. Now I can only say that because people have told me that, <laughs> but what's happening there is you're happier than you were before. And when you, when you depend on something that produces high stimulation, high stimulation is dopamine. When you have that high dopamine stimulation, it desensitizes receptor sites in the brain so that normal dopamine stimulation has less effect. So translation, I'm so excited. I'm so high. And next day I feel flat and bored. It takes a while for those receptor sites, which are causing you to feel flat and bored to open up again, like little flowers. They have to open up to receive dopamine again and feel good because they get shut down. They get pushed down. But when they're pushed down, we don't feel alive. We feel bored. We feel flat. We feel hungry. That's a big one. We feel hungry for men. They feel horny that it's addiction. I need that high stimulation again. I need to look at my phone. I need to get that dopamine hit. I need to look at other people and the crime, the crime towards children to look at Facebook, to be comparing yourself with everybody else in the world should never have to be exposed to so much comparison that only leads to you are not enough. You are not good enough. You don't have, you need more. You, this is like insanity without even a sense of I am enough. We're already being exposed by you aren't enough. See this person, see this person, see this fantasy, see this. Cause everybody knows when you're taking a family picture, <laughs> Everybody's smiling. <laughs> we all look so happy. You know, I, I just uh, uh, watching on, uh, I think it's uh, one of these ch channels. Uh, now I can't remember the name of the show, but network, something like that. And you get to see the ins all those hosts on the show. They're fighting, they're bickering, they hate each other. And the show must go on. Click three, two, one. Hello, everybody, and welcome. The news today is, and we are so happy, and everything is so good, and we love each other, <laughs> and everything is great. And yet you see divorces, you see mental illness, you see one out of two or three women now on antidepressants, people having to take mm. sleep, drug sleeping medication, the high levels of stress, the dissatisfaction we have in our lives, the violence, the breakdown of the family unit, 70% uh, of black boys grow up without fathers, 40, 50% of, of white boys grow up without access to father. This is insanity. Uh, boys are boys, girls are girls. And what's happening is people are not able to anchor into their sexuality. They're so disconnected from reality of their bodies. We're all in a, in a meta world. It's the new Facebook meta. That's their... Mm -hmm using everything is digital stimulation. You want to become ADD, you want to become addicted, just put on one of those glasses. And of course, right. what will sell it for all the men, it's going to be sex. They've already got it. Even suits you can put on that fake sex, fake this. And of course, fake vacations, fake all these things. What happens is normal reality. I look at my trees out in the backyard. I'm in awe. They're so beautiful. People don't even notice them. They won't even see nature. They won't even see what's beautiful. They won't be able to see the sparkle in their wife's eyes, the admiration that you feel when your husband does something for you. What an amazing guy he is. You feel flat. You're unable to appreciate. You're dissatisfied. Yeah. Your brain, when it's, you're in a state of chronic stress, only looks at the negative. Your brain grows pathways that go from the left prefrontal cortex to the right prefrontal cortex gets activated, which only sees the negative. The left, which sees the positive, those pathways are dried up and you can't see in reality how beautiful the world is. You can't see how beautiful you are. Already women, they look in the mirror, take your clothes off and look in the mirror and see how you look. If you're a woman, you hate yourself, you criticize yourself, you judge yourself. This is basically the reality of the world today. And this is all mirror. It's the mind mirror of what's going on in the body when we dis disidentify from our gender. You talked about gender fluidity. Now that's the problem with it. Okay. That's the danger with it is disidentifying with your gender. And I'll give you the biological reality that gender is real and why gender disidentification is actually causing massive stress levels, which then lead to everything else. The universe then reflects that imbalance back. And now we're drinking out plastic bottles. We're exposing the heavy metals. We've got GMOs. We've got toxicity in our body. It all works together. 
but the highest spiritual truth is the outer world is a reflection of what's going on inside of us. We are as above, so below what goes on in us happens in the outer world. Any woman can experience this as a mother, your mother, you know, those days where you were stressed out and you're just pushing everything down, trying to put on a lid on it. On those days, your kids go bananas, right? Have you relate to that? Absolutely. Certainly, certainly. We don't realize it, but in so many ways, what happens to us is just a reflection of what's going on inside of ourselves. I have a friend and I was coaching her on, on uh, having her podcast and we set it all up and everything. <laughs> and then she goes, I don't know if I want to do this. Nobody's going to come. They won't like me. I won't be good enough. She's a good teacher. I said, just you take one step forward. God takes nine steps towards you. You've got to have that experience. And based on that experience, the confidence will come. And of course it did, but she had to overcome and she, I just don't want to do it. And then I do want to do it. I don't want to do it. I said, you can do it. You can do it. I'm coaching her. Right. And then the day comes where she's got this set up with this fancy camera and lighting and all this stuff. Literally the lens broke. <laughs> never, never experienced a lens breaking like that. <laughs> to bring it back to the, <laughs> what happened? It was a new camera and worked for, you know, five test runs and everything. And right when she's going to go, it breaks. Then the next time she, we get the camera fixed. <laughs> then the next time the, uh, the mic doesn't work. So you just use your phone. Oh, this, this is the world reflecting you. Have you ever noticed when you're distressed inside the world gives you reasons to be distressed? You get this folks when the you're distressed inside the world will give you reasons to be distressed. Your brain will actually look at things, do things and somehow magically <laughs> things actually go against you that time. This is the reality of life and we are so messed up right now, but the opportunity, let me focus on the opportunity for a moment and then clarify for all the people who think that, that uh, gender fluidity is a good thing. Ultimately, I'm going to say the good thing about it. Now I, I'm a child of the sixties. So in the sixties, I grew up my hair. What's that called? Man being woman. <laughs> I was all into fashion. I had these cool boots. I was into free sex. You know, see, masculinity has to wait to get married before you have sex. That's called discipline. You have to do dirty, dangerous, difficult things. You have to sacrifice your life for your country. This is masculinity. We were locked in that box, just as women were locked in the box of nourishing and nurturing their children and cleaning the house and raising their all that. You know, two worlds. And those worlds, when they worked, worked beautifully. I can't say everything always worked, but how do we get to this amazing world we live in now? Isn't it just amazing mm -hmm. all the things we have now? How did we get here by that system? That system took thousands and thousands, millions of years to evolve the relationship with men and women. And who are these idiots who suddenly think they know better that they could bring us <laughs> and look at them. They know better. And there's destruction in the streets. There's looting, there's lying, there's depression, there's anxiety, there's suicide. It's all off the chart now. The sickness in our world is unbelievable, particularly in this country, which leads the world. Right. What is going on here? Well, I, from my perspective, what I see, and I mentioned other things, but the corruption, the imbalance in the world, it's all a reflection of humans are in balance. Churchill said something some quote. I'm always good at my quotes. I'm good at what I know, but the quotes were, he said, you can always rely on the Americans to do the wrong thing, <laughs> do everything wrong until they figure out it doesn't work and then they'll self-correct. Well, that's humanity. And why the Americans, by the way, it's kind of funny. He said that because we lead the world and also because we're more free. You see, mm -hmm. it's our freedom that allows us to self-correct. It's our freedom that allows us to try new things, to be creative and whatever. But look at what's happening today. There is no freedom. This is insanity. Can you imagine two years ago and they say, oh, we would never think of mandating. We would never think of these. How dare you think passports, credit scores. We would never think of these things. And yet we now all these people are accepting it. 80% yeah. accepting it. You know, yeah. the story of gender, something that you'll never find anywhere. It's been washed everywhere but it's the story of the, the Jewish people under the Pharaoh. And the only reason I know this is because, and there's some Jewish historians that know what I've heard from, but the, the, the people right there at the pyramid, because I climbed the pyramid, I know the mayor of the little town that has the key to the pyramid. This is a little village, not the city. And on that, uh, I climbed it twice, so much fun. And uh, of course it was against the law. We had to get special secret permission. At night. <laughs> and, but, but anyway, so, 
I became very familiar with these people because I really wanted that. And we had conversations about gender. And he said, he's an Egyptian man. And he said, well, the history of this is that the Egyptians, the Pharaoh had the, the Jewish people were the slaves, but they had to subdue them. They had to weaken them. And the way that they weakened them was they made a rule. Females were to do men's work and men were to do traditional women's work. Hmm. And that's why you have to some extent the matriarchal Jewish religion hmm. is that the women were in charge of everything and the men not. But there, it, that can go back and forth, but it's more matriarchal than most all religions. So, but it's the women did the men's stuff, the men did the women's stuff and they became passive and weak. But 20% stood up and said, no, no, we rebelled against it. So when they say the Jews all escaped over, you know, the Red Sea or whatever sea it was to go to the mountain and everything and wander 40 years in the, in the wilderness, it was only 20% of the Jewish people. All the others perished. Mm. This is what's going on right now. History repeats itself. We have to wake up. This is a big awakening. Wake up. You're being misled. You know, it's the Pied Piper. You're going off the cliff and you're smiling as you do it. This is insanity, complete nutso. So anyway, so I'll come back to gender difference because that is what's caused the people to become asleep. That's what's allowed you to lose your critical thinking. That's what allowed you to be like little children following your parents, dysfunctional parents. Hmm. Now, so what's the good news here? I, I guess I dwell on the negative again. The good news is here I'm a child of the 60s. I went to my female side and I realized that caused suffering and pain and came back to my male side. I learned how to do that. I had teachers to do that. I had a father. I had role models. I had mentors. I had a way back. Men don't have a way back. They're way on their female side. And why did I go to my female side in the 60s? Well, we can look at things that happened in the world. Okay. But again, I'm saying the world is just a reflection of what's going on. And what's going on is a higher consciousness has descended on us. This high consciousness is self-awareness. What makes us different from animals is greater self-reflection that we can look at ourselves and what we did and we can self-correct. We can self-correct if, and we can love, we can love ourselves. We have to, to self-correct. You have to love yourself. I'm not going to say I'm bad unless I feel I'm good enough to be loved. Why do so many people hide their truth inside themselves because they're afraid they'll lose love? So we have to be feel free. Love gives us freedom to be ourselves. We have to have the freedom to look at what we're doing and evaluate it and self-correct. And in self-correcting it, we can evolve. We can consciously evolve. We can co-create with the divine creator and we can create a beautiful body. And I, like you, I heard you wanted to live to 150. I plan on 132. <laughs> it's not like my plan. That's just going to happen. I know what I'm doing. You can look at my videos from 20 years ago. I'm younger now. I mean, it's all mm -hmm. record. You know, I'm fully alive. I look at my own. We talk about hormone levels. Well, we'll get to hormones in a moment. What makes us men and women is our hormone differences. Because what is the biggest difference between men and women is that women make babies. Men don't. They carry them. We put the sperm in. She receives it. She goes through the process. That's femininity. That's a huge reality. And the hormones necessary for a man to do his job in that process and for a woman to do the hormones necessary for her job, very different set of hormones, a set of hormones that makes her attractive to attract a man to impregnate her hormones that cause a man to feel confident, strong and powerful. So a woman will have those hormones to be attracted to him. This is all civilization. This is brilliant intelligence in the universe to create the division of male, female. You see it in animals. It's everywhere. And then suddenly comes World War II. And that century after World War II, that was supposed to be the war that ended all wars. That's the 50s, sort of this classical time. The 50s was a time where we're supposed to feel safe until they created the illusion of atomic wars with Russia and all that stuff. Hide under your desk. You mean, we were all hiding under our desk to protect us from an atomic bomb. You know how <laughs> foolish we are, how silly we are. <laughs> now, the children are foolish. They're just following the leader. They're following the leader. As soon as somebody's in fear, this is what people who are corrupt, we have to realize there are evil people in the world and they seek power. They always yeah. seek power over others. E evil exists. In Christianity, they call it the Satan, the devil. It's a spirit of evil. And it you know happens every day. People are now randomly shooting people, killing people, hating people. What is going on in the world? The power, the negativity is getting more and more powerful. I remember in the, the cute little Star Wars short, you know, don't give in to the dark side. Don't let your anger control you. 
You know, you just give it more power. You give it more power. Well, it's not just anger that gives power. And that is true. Fear, fear, they, the evil lusts on your fear, promoting more and more fear, because when you're fearful, your brain changes. This is all simple science. Your brain goes into theta waves. Theta waves is the same as a six-year-old for about the first seven years of life. We're mm -hmm. in theta which allows us to, it's like a state of deep hypnosis. It's also a state of dream. When we're dreaming, we go into theta. We're under hypnosis, we're under suggestion. We create belief systems at that time. And of course the belief system of a child is, I depend on my parents and you do, but if your parents are dysfunctional and they don't give you love and support all the time, you assume something's wrong with me. When your parents see you as less than, and when your parents see themselves as less than, when your parents are hostile to each other, arguing with each other, that's all inside of us. We have to cleanse that. We have to cleanse that. Uh, somebody told me a quote. Oh, I, I try to remember Jung's quote. Uh, it's a really great quote, but uh, it's the recognition. What therapy can do is the recognition that what runs every decision in our life is our subconscious mind. You say, oh, I just don't like that person. No, your subconscious mind told you not to like that person. <laughs> it's, it's, you, you go, oh, I don't like parties. Oh, I like ice cream. It's your subconscious mind that tells you that. There's all this control. You are not free until you're aware, until you make the subconscious mind conscious. And then you can become aware of it and go, oh, that desire for ice cream, that desire to hate somebody, that desire to hit somebody. It's what's the consequence of that? And based upon an awareness of consequences, we can make changes. Awareness that all of our suffering, all of our sickness is due to our consciousness, not being aware of the foolishness inside of us. And what your work is, Sarah, is teaching people how all of their habits and eating if they're sick are wrong, how, they're, how they have to make adjustments. And they, you know, to make those adjustments, there's support. Just like when I help my clients in counseling, how do you make those adjustments within yourself? Well, you need help. You can't do it yourself. I come and do your show again and again, Sarah, because I like to promote you because you are out there in the trenches and you have people and you coach them for free to go through cleanses. Because if you guys, this, the out, this, the, one of the reflections of the toxicity of our environment, it throws us out of balance. And we'll, she teaches you all that. I'll teach you a little bit of that. The, you need help. If you don't have it all together, you need help. Wake up to that. If you're overweight, if you're sick, if you have health problems, any health problems, if you're taking any medications, you need help. You need to get off those things. I don't take any medications. I don't do any of that stuff. I'm 70 years old and one of the, the I'm happy, I'm fulfilled, I'm successful. The world reflects back to me who I am. So I'm happy. H however, hormones are essential. And we're going to talk more about how to have those, the right hormones. Because what's going on is all of your health conditions. Now, Sarah will tell you that inflammation, oxidative stress, all these issues are the physical part of all this. But it always is directly associated with your blood sugar levels and your blood sugar levels are associated with insulin resistance. And that's associated with your cortisol levels. Your cortisol levels deplete you of hormones. Mm -hmm. Now, I got to finish that point. The good news is the God is coming into us all. The world is going to be a better place for some Others will want, <laughs> others will, will, many are wandering, we've been wandering, right now we're wandering in the desert. I'll put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> right. We, we, but now what's going on here? As men go to their female side, they become more emotional. They experience a greater dependence on others for pleasure and fulfillment. And that's a good thing. I depend on my wife. My wife, by the way, has passed three years ago. Sometimes I'm in present time with her. I am in a loving relationship now, but I, well, I'll talk about my wife because it's where I learned all these things about relationship. Certainly I depend on my wife without a doubt, but I don't depend on her to feel good about myself. I feel good about myself. And I do that by being a good person in the world, making a difference and having good work, having, uh, making a difference. And I feel better making a difference for her. So our job is to feel good within ourselves and our relationship is only there to make us feel better. So women, you blame your husband for not making you happy. Blame yourself with love. Yeah. Make a change. Be happy. Be fulfilled. Don't depend on him. Don't be so needy. Don't, by the way, needy shows up as dissatisfaction and demand. You know, you don't want to be needy, but anytime you're unhappy, you're needy. That's what neediness is. It says, I need more than what you are. So wake up. It's the wake up call. 
you know, any problem you have in relationships and everybody's having them, it's your fault. It's my fault. It's both sides and you can't change your partner. You change yourself. And when you change yourself, you give more love. And by giving more love, you help to change your partner to be happier. It's not your job, but you can do that. Your job is to be happy and your partner's job is to be happy and then learn relationship skills. So you can both be happier. Wouldn't that be great? If we went to a relationship with a hundred percent and they came to a hundred percent, you're going to get 200%. And that's called making love. That's greatness. That's the fulfillment that's recharging and your ability to be fully alive and present and focused and here in this world, making a difference and letting the world make a difference for you. Happiness and fulfillment, joy, but and happiness, excitement and motivation. Uh, let's, uh, let, let's just emphasize that for a second. How do you get there if you are not enough because you're in fear and you're under chronic stress and your adrenals are burned out and your blood sugar is going up because of your cortisol and you don't know what gender you are. You're, you, you have no foundation. No foundation at all. No grounding. It's at the foundation of who we are as human beings. One, the highest level is we're all the same. We're all one. That's God consciousness. Okay. That God consciousness is coming down. And so everybody thinks we're all one. <laughs> See, that's what's going on here. It's like, we're all the same. No, we're one. We're made of the same substance and we're all different. If you're all one, you have communism, nothing. Equity, everybody gets the same result. Everybody gets a trophy, whether you tried hard or not. No, you don't get a trophy unless you win. You want a bigger house, you work harder. You educate yourself. You do what you do. And, and then when you suffer, you learn from that. You know, everybody can learn from your lessons, Sarah. Sarah's brilliant woman. Then she got sick and she healed herself. Her child is sick and she healed herself. How can she know all this? Cause she healed herself. We have to suffer in order to learn, but without the guidance, without the knowledge. And right now what we're getting is complete dysfunctional knowledge and stimulation. We need truth yeah. speakers, truth speakers. You can't have truth speakers when you have censorship. The internet is feeling with censorship. We have to get, we're not free. People telling us where you can go, where you can eat, what you can do. This is insanity. You have to wake up and, and see it's through true. the lie. See through the yeah. lie. Fear. So, Fear puts you in a state where you believe a lie. Now, what did Hitler say? What did Hitler say? You have to get people to believe a lie. And how to get them to believe a lie? You create a lie that's so unbelievably illogical and repeat it over and over and people go, it must be true. And that's what he did. He told all the people that the Jews were sick. They were dirty. They were infectious and they rape women. They put films of them doing that. And so everybody turned against the Jews and then they rationalize, well, let's kill all the Jews right now. People are saying, if you, if you haven't been vaccinated, you shouldn't be allowed in the hospitals. You're bad. <laughs> this is the logic of all of this is so beyond any, any child. But see, they're all children. They're all in fear. It's the mass formation psychosis. It's a crazy thing that's happening. How did Hitler do his thing? How did China do its thing? I've been to all these places. What is going on now in America? But not everybody in America. And we have the responsibility to wake everybody up. But at the same time, we need to protect ourselves. So there we have to be healthy, not be exposed to this. Keep, you know, I have to keep listening to the true speakers. I listen a lot to banned video ban dot video. And the reason I do it, it's rather extreme. <laughs> they, they, you know, they, they don't, they're not gentle and kind and maybe positive as I am, <laughs> but you got to hear the alternative voices that are contrary to the other voices. You have to hear it. Why is Tucker the number one show on TV? Because people <laughs> are hungry to know what's true. I never watched Tucker. I never cared about all that sarcasm all the time, but now it's the only source of truth. I mean, right. you're getting pieces of it, not the whole picture, the whole picture. So what we can do to find our sanity is to recognize we are all tempted to go out of balance. Every time you hear a lie, like I recently heard 95% of the hospital is up. 95% of the people are all unvaccinated. That's a lie. That's a, That's a straight lie. out lie that the president said and the research showed it was 36% which means way more <laughs> vaccinated people. And here's the other one, which I just have to share with everybody is that, you know, when the vaccine started in every country, it, the amount of deaths from COVID 
went up 10 times. That's true. Yeah. Went up 10 times everywhere. You saw a big, huge spike of death. And guess what? Everybody thought those were unvaccinated people. Well, you also have to put A and B, one and one plus equals two. When you take the shot, and so many people on VAERS got died within days of the shot, and occasionally two weeks. If you get the shot, you don't get counted as a vaccinated person until six weeks later. So anybody right. who died from the vaccination, and we know VAERS said 20,000 people have died from the vaccination. So this is just simple what VAERS says. And that most Harvard, most big universities say VAERS is, is undercounting, not overcounting. But let's just say it's the same. Doesn't matter. People die after taking the shot. I know people who know people personally who've died after taking the shot. I don't personally know anybody. I just know that my very close work work person I had took the booster and now she's got autoimmune diseases. Yeah. You know, amazing. And right away, right away. Kabang, kabang, kabang. And thank goodness you have good processes and good supplements to help the people who've been injured by any treatment yeah. that you've gotten. So people have to know you're an amazing resource for that and you need help. You need somebody who's been there and guiding you through. So here I am back in the 60s. I keep trying to finish this statement. I'm <laughs> over here in hippie land. That's my female side. That's a man doing everything opposite of what men were expected to do. I demonstrated against the war. What do you mean? You're from Texas. You've got a gun. I, I used to go hunting. Oh, now I'm gonna, I wanna carry a gun. I'm peace, love and, Free sex, you know, <laughs> you know, wait to have <laughs> sex before you're in a relationship. Go out and have sex with anybody. Free love, <laughs> totally responsibility. And there was, I remember one rock song, which was called Do What You Like, Do What You Like. It was like a hypnotic chant. I loved it. Oh, do what you like, do what you like, do what you like. Just back in the 60s. Anyway, but that's what we were about. That was freedom to do what I like. Translation, that's freedom to go to my female side and produce mm -hmm. female hormones and not male hormones. And for women, they're all like, we're liberated. And it was good. Yeah. The war was over. Everybody was free. When you feel very safe and free, what happens is your soul is entering into your body because that's the truth. The truth is fear doesn't exist. Fear is F-E-A-R. Forgetting everything is all right. Forgetting mm -hmm. everything is all right. And you know, when my wife died, it was horrible. She died of cancer. I was so such a traumatic thing happened in nine months. She just went straight down, but without pain due to alternative treatments and so forth. That was good. Anyway, so what, what happened for her is, oh, I don't want to go there. Uh, I, I have too much to say here. <laughs> I might start crying. <laughs> so, so put that to the side. Maybe we'll come back. The, 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 the dynamic of, of, let me just stop for a second when I'm, oh, back to my story I'm trying to finish. I'm in my, in my female side doing what I like. Women are all busy on their male side. We're going to be empowered. We're going to change the world. We're going to run the governments. We're going to become CEOs. And that was good. That's a good thing. It's good for me to do what I like. It's good for them to do what we have to do to change this world. Mm -hmm. Except that when women only feel I have to do this and they don't like doing what they have to do, then their cortisol levels are elevated. And mm -hmm. when they do what they like and they don't do what they have to do, I just do what I like to do then I become overly feminine and my female hormones go up and my male hormones go down. And when women are on their male side and they don't get back to their female side, their male hormones go up and their female hormones go down and mm -hmm. they can't get pregnant. They can't be happy. They're dissatisfied. They grow pathways in their brain, which only re that always become the automatic go-to. Let me give you a little, mm -hmm. one little relationship tip here. Although this is a context to suddenly realize that anybody challenged in your relationship should read my book <laughs> called Beyond Mars and Venus. Absolutely. It's I've read a, it three times, John. <laughs> it's so important. Nobody's it ever is. written this stuff. You know, you can read a million self-help books. I give endorsements from all the time. There's <laughs> thousands out there. The, the world is flooded with self-help books. There's not one that teaches hormonal differences between men and women. And that is the essence of once you learn as women, what you need to say and what you need to do for yourself, if you're not feeling happy and fulfilled every moment. And I want to, I want to stop right there and tell everybody that you need a highlighter when you read this book and you need to reread it because it's not, it's not common sense. 
I, I, I read the book thinking, God, I'm doing so many things wrong. And now I understand why I'm getting the wrong response from my husband and vice versa. So anyways, I just wanted to say that, John, that it is a fantastic book. And I, I, I will keep rereading it to get reminded. Yeah, let me, let me show that book to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally, literally if five people watching today. Go and read this book. My life yes. is fulfilled. This knowledge has to get up. Nobody. Nobody is teaching this and we're going in all the wrong direction. This is insanity where we're going and look at black lives matter. All lives matter. Black lives certainly matter. And the whole movement, it's a Marxist movement. And they even say we're about breaking down the family unit. We're about sending your little kids off yeah. to school at three years old to be indoctrinated. You see, everything sounds so good. It's not good. Let me explain that to you. It sounds really good. All you working mothers, you know, suddenly you, they're going to pay for your preschool for your child at three years old to six years old. You don't have to come up with the money for that. That means you get to work more doing what you have to do instead of the things that make female hormones, which is spending time with your children. Now yeah. I get the compassion. Everything always looks good. That's not good. This, our government always says, oh, this is the clean air act. And then they allow more pollutant to go in. Everything is the reverse of what it really is. The, all that's what deception is. However, let's look at this thing. They want to give money to, 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 they want to allow preschool, pre preschool for mothers so they can go out and work more. All right. So let's, let's look at that. Sounds good. Doesn't it? Why don't we give money to mothers who have three-year-olds so that they can stay home from work mm -hmm. and take care of their children. So then it's a choice freedom. Yeah. I offer, if you, you don't want to be a mother, give it to somebody who does. Although unfortunately the schools are indoctrinating our children from an early age, which every yeah. communist country said is the idea. Stalin said, give me one generation of the children and I'll have complete control. Yeah. That's what they're doing now. It's just insanity what's going on, but let's come back to the foundation of all this. And I saw it 30 years ago. When they when they're trying, it's why men from Mars became so so powerful. Is it already this consciousness was coming down into the planet? So as a man, I had my female side. I was a hippie, and I came back to being a responsible man and a hippie. Okay, I have so much fun in my life. I have so much sex in my life. I enjoy sex. You, we talk about testosterone levels, and men has a lot to do with libido. Mm -hmm. Already, this generation from the last generation is half the testosterone levels average in men. Every yeah. year, every year, the average in men of the whole society, every age going down, one down, not one down, notch. infertility and 21 year old boys, impotence and 21 year old boys. They, they can go online and get an erection. They can't sustain an erection in a loving relationship. Yeah. This is craziness. I'm 70 years old. My testosterone levels are 50 percent higher than when I was a young man. Why? Because I understand the dynamics of relationship. If you're not in a relationship, this you'll die younger. That's also a fact. Mm -hmm. You're sicker if you're not in a relationship. If you're in a gay relationship, I hate to say it, you're even more sick. This is statistics. If you're in trans, we don't even know if you're going to make it beyond 30. Hmm. This is insanity. So I'm not an expert on gay relationships, but I just mentioned you, if gay relationship is going to be harder for you to find the polarity. You can. I'm hopeful. But you're not in gay gay men relationship. They all die younger and they have all kinds of diseases and sicknesses that heterosexuals don't have. And heterosexuals are already sick. So mm -hmm. you look at the statistics, who's dying, who has the more illness. It's all about gender confusion. Now, where does this come from? Well, many levels. OK, one is safety. The world became more civilized. The world is better now than it's ever been, except the direction we're going in is going backwards. The, the world is better. That was after World War uh, II. That's supposed to be the war that ended all wars. We were going to have many big fighting. People felt very safe. Well, as soon as you feel safe, you're letting the truth in because forgetting everything's all right. F-E-A-R. F is forgetting. Everything is E. A is all. And R is right. Forgetting everything's all right. And that's why I've got off into my wife is because I grieved for two, two to three years. I was so sad so much pain, so much loss. And, and somebody said, well, if you believe that your wife is in heaven and she's happy, why are you upset? I said, I totally believe that. But my subconscious mind doesn't. You see, mm -hmm. we are the 
effect of our subconscious mind. We have to listen to it and then remind it that there's really nothing to worry about. Like my little six-year-old daughter is now back when she was six years old. <laughs> She's grown up. Right. At MarsVenus.com. She's better than me. And by the way, <laughs> my things that are tough, I've become a little bit tough in my old age. Uh, <laughs> She's very gentle with women. And she has this amazing, I want you to take it, Sarah, this course called uh, How to Get Your Me Time If You're a Woman. It's the you time, me time, we time system. It teaches women and re-encourages women the skills and a relationship with a man that will produce female hormones for you and how you mm -hmm. increase his male hormones so he can get better out of the relationship and you can get better. This is the best course you ever will take. It's better than anything I teach, better than my book. It's a class where you have to do exercises, you have to do processes. And then there's a group talking, did you do it? And people are saying, I was terrified I did it. I thought I did it wrong and it worked. You know, you it's scary Amazing. to change. It's scary to change, particularly when you love your partner and you've got a great partner or actually it's scary either way. <laughs> you have a great partner, you don't want to mess up. And if you want to get rid of your partner, it's a bad relationship, so you're afraid things will get worse. So <laughs> it's always scary to change. So anyway, we have to rec recognize. Uh, only four minutes left. So yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me make that one point I wanted to make. Men on average, okay, need 10 times more testosterone than a woman to sustain attraction in a relationship. Women need at least 10 times more estrogen than a man in order to be happy and fulfilled and attractive to a man. Just, just to know, these are your polarities. Basics. This mm -hmm. is the basics. And for women have an orgasm and get pregnant as well. At time of the month when she's ovulating, her estrogen has to go at least 20 times higher than a man. His testosterone will help you get there by going 20 times, twice as high as it normally is when he's with you. Twice as mm -hmm. high. Now, Research has shown that when man's testosterone goes twice as high, because it's always fluctuating, like right now, mine's off the chart. Okay, you know, just I'm doing my thing, you know, I'm powerful, mm -hmm. confident, make a difference. I know what I'm saying, which saved the world. Okay, so that kind of thinking. No, I can't save the world. I'm helping to save the world, of course. Now, the <laughs> in the world don't want to be saved. <laughs> anyway, so the, the testosterone levels, when a man's testosterone level goes up, he puts out a smell pheromone mm. brings a woman's estrogen levels up. And likewise, the same research is when a woman's estrogen levels go up, she puts out a smell that attracts men's attention and interest in her, brings his sex drive up. We are interdependent if we want to be great souls and we want to make babies and so forth and have the world have family. They're trying to tear family down. A lot of people think, why do we need family anyway? Why do we need monogamy anyway? People can't even imagine See, it's monogamy where you have a hope, a chance of bumping your testosterone to these high levels mm -hmm. if you're a man. Every time you do porn, men, your testosterone level goes a little bit lower, a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Research yeah. shows that for a man, if he ejaculates, his testosterone goes down, takes six days for his, his, his testosterone to come back online. And for one day, it comes online 50% higher. See, mine's online yeah. all the time. Why is that? because I don't masturbate. I don't use porn. I don't have a need for any other woman. I've got a partner and that partner, if I, if I was younger, like with my wife, I only had sex once, uh, once a week. That way I only ejaculated once a week. So my testosterone could come back high. We bond at that high level each time. Every relationship needs that too much sex. Testosterone goes down. Masturbation, you're dying as a man. You're going to die so much younger. You got less power, less charisma, less motivation less energy, more depression. Now for women, it's the social media. It's addiction to fantasy. See, this is the, the world is going to addiction to fantasy. Fantasy produces way more, not real produces more dopamine. Just like thinking that the world is a dangerous place for you right now. It's not real. It's not real. Right now sitting next to me, you could have any sickness where you think you need a doctor or a hospital. You could talk to Sarah and she'll help you solve the problem yourself. That's when I say it's not real. Yeah. If you, you, you go, oh, I have this condition. I have to go see the doctor and take all these five drugs, comorbidities. Oh, I got, I could die. Okay. I get it. It's terrifying. You're like a little child crying out. I need mommy and daddy. That's not mommy and daddy over there. That's somebody who teach you how to be a grown up and heal yourself and find your power as a human being. John, I, I love everything that we've gone over and we need like five more hours on this topic because 
I want to just wrap up. Start. And, <laughs> I know. But the fact that you brought up fear, which increases cortisol, which decreases testosterone in men and increases testosterone in women, you can just see the cascade of imbalances that happen with what's going on today. And this is a topic that I try to help people through detoxification, through helping with insulin resistance, all of this to get back their hormone balance. Um, but there's so much more to this. And thank you so much for joining us today. And you can find everything that Dr. John Gray is about at Mars and MarsVenus.com. Uh, highly recommend Beyond Mars and Venus and everything else. I mean, you, you go into ADHD and children and so many other topics that um, I just love. And I know we are out of time, so we will have to do this again. Thank oh, you, sure. everyone. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. And you can find all this, the supplements and the Ascent Diet Cleanse at AcceleratedHealthProducts.com. You can find this episode and all my episodes on iHeartRadio, iTunes, Stitcher, Pandora, and over 100 channels, of course, YouTube and Facebook as well. And I also do Accelerated Health Bites, where I do short informational videos. If you want to use coupon W4HC20 for 20% off site-wide at Accelerated healthproducts.com. You're welcome to. And join us every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Thanks, everybody, and see you next week. Thanks, John. Thank you.